Rita is a safe and easy to use overhead lift that combines design with well thought out and proven functionality. Rita is suitable for use of all types of rails on both permanent rail systems and on portable freestanding lift stands. It is very easy to use, moves silently and gently, and features functions that maximize comfort and security. We offer two Rita models, which can transfer patients weighing up to 505 pounds or 550 pounds. In this video, we will discuss the operation of the Rita, including operation, safety checks, troubleshooting, and care and maintenance. Check to ensure that all components, for instance, the Rita lift, sling bar, charger, hand control, charging end stop, and manual are included. Prior to using the lift, check rail end stops, check sling bar connection and safety latch connections, check lifting movement. Before using the Rita, all operators should carefully study and understand the instruction guides for both the lift and accessories, as well as complete the Rita competency checklist. In addition, the patient care plan should always be reviewed for patient's activity level and any contraindications for using a lifting device. Assure that the use of lifting equipment and accessories are in full compliance with the patient's care plan. Do not leave the patient unattended during a transfer situation. Only lift when the sling bar is right underneath the lift. In this section, we will briefly review some of the operational features of the Rita, including the charging, emergency lowering, and hand control. When the battery is low, a red LED light lights up. When the red light blinks, the lift unit should immediately be taken out of use to be charged. When the charge is low, a tone will also beep. In general, charging is recommended at any time the lift is not in use. This will ensure that a full charge is available when needed and will result in maximum battery life. To charge the lift, move it to the end of the track into the charging station. Make sure the green light turns on showing that the charging is in progress. The light switches off after 10 minutes. The green light will light up when the battery is fully charged. Press the red button on the underside of the lift to operate the electrical emergency lowering. Lowering stops as soon as the button is released. The Rita hand control has four buttons. The green button is for activating the lift. When the green button is pressed, a green light will signify that the Rita is on and ready to operate. Note, the lift will not operate unless the green on button is pressed and the green light is on. The red button turns the lift off. The other two buttons are used to move the lift up or down. To lift, press the up button. The lift will only move as long as you press the button. To lower the lift, press the down button. Motion stops when the button is released. For safe and trouble-free operation of the Rita, there are some routine procedures that should be performed prior to each use. Visually inspect the lift and check for external damage and wear. Check that the sling bar is safely attached to the lift strap. Check that the safety latches on the sling bar are present, movable, and hanging vertically. Check emergency stop function by depressing the emergency stop button and then pressing either up or down button. If nothing happens when the up or down buttons are pressed, the emergency stop is functioning properly. Check the entire length of lifting straps for signs of damage and inspect seams for wear. Press the up button and run the lift strap all the way up. Then press the down button and run the lift all the way down. Release the down button when the strap reaches its lowest position and then press the green button to return the lift strap to working position. If the strap shows any signs of damage, stop and investigate before any more lifting is performed. Test lift function by lifting a person, not a patient, using an improved sling. At the same time, check the emergency lowering with someone in the lift. See the lowering section for emergency lowering. Check to ensure that the track system is equipped with end stops. Run the lift to the charging station at the end of the track and check to ensure that the charging lamp lights. If the lift is not working, check to ensure the following that the lift is switched on, that the cable for the hand control is properly and securely connected. Pull the contact out and plug it in firmly. That the batteries are charged. 
If the lift is not working properly, contact your maintenance or biomed department or your local system Romedic representative. Routine cleaning of the lift should be done with a quaternary compound solution or approved disinfectant. Do not use products containing phenyl or chlorine since this may damage the material. The Rita lift should be thoroughly inspected in service if needed, or at least once per year. Perform complete weight test and pay particular attention to parts that show wear such as joints, bolts, welds, or wheels. Service must be carried out according to the System Romedic Service Manual and by authorized staff. Repairs and maintenance may only be done by trained and certified personnel using the original parts. If you have any questions or comments, please consult your local distributor or system romantic specialist.